Hi, my name is Shay Schofield and I'm putting together some videos on how to help you make the bottle cap images. And I have got my Photoshop elements open and what we're going to do is go get our image first. So I'm just going to minimize that. And I have got photosearch.com pulled up here and I had typed in hearts background and this is the image over here that I want to use I'm gonna make circles out of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click on the image and I'm gonna hit copy I'm gonna minimize that window and I'm gonna go back to my Photoshop here I'm going to put on file on the top up here on the top bar up there just push file click on new and blank file now to let you name it, I'm just going to name mine hearts. It's going to say width down here. Next to the width, it, mine says pixels. I'm going to change that to inches. I want my width to be 4 and I want my height to be 6. I want my resolution to be 300. And down here at the bottom, the background contents, I want it to be white. And then I'm going to push OK. This gives me the palette that I'm going to work on. Now I'm going to go up top here to get my image in and I'm going to press on edit paste and what that did is it pasted our hearts on here. Now I'm going to have to make that a little bit bigger because we made it with the 300 dots per inch so the size is pretty small. It's not going to be big enough for us to put our circle in it to crop it to. So I'm going to go over here to our side bar here. Um, the first button here is an arrow and if you put your uh, little cursor over it says move tool. We want to click on that. And what it did is you can see it put some little boxes around your um, image here now. And we're just going to go down on the bottom right hand corner until it goes to a little double sided arrow and we're going to pull it down and make it bigger. Okay, and when you're done, click. there'll be a little uh, green check mark there at the bottom. We're going to click on that. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and select. It's the one, two, three, four, the fifth button down. It looks like a lasso, a, a dotted lasso. It's not the solid lasso. It's the one between the one that looks like a cowboy rope and the dropper. It's the one there in the middle. And it, put your cursor over it. It is the uh, marquee tool. And we're just going to select that. Just click on it once. And if you go up to the top of your screen, right up here, it says you want to, uh, by mode there, you want to select fixed size. It'll have a little drop down arrow box next to it where it says, um, it's say mode, it'll either say normal, fixed ratio, or fixed size. You want it to say fixed size. Then you go over and it'll say width and height. And in those little boxes there, you need to make sure your width says 1.03 IN. Just type that in. And then your height is going to be the same, 1.03 IN. It might already say something with the PX for pixels, but you want to make sure it says 1.03 IN, okay? Now, all you have to do is go down here, put your X in the upper, well, in the corner of your hearts, and just click, and you'll see this circle that has appeared. Um, and you just want to move it into the middle of your heart box that we made. If it is not big enough, uh, the circle will not fit in it. Just click somewhere on the right. Go up here and push your select tool again. Select the box. Let me see now. I'm selecting this. You can hit your undo button, by the way, anytime. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to hit my undo to get rid of that circle. Okay. Make your box a little bit bigger if you have to. Okay. And then go back to the marquee tool. And then click on the box and then center that circle there in your image. Okay, we got that. As I said again, if your circle is too big for the heart background, you can just hit your undo button. It's right up here. Undo, undo, undo. Till you get back to your image with the boxes around it. Make it a little bit bigger. And then go back to your marquee tool and your size should already put, be put in. 
put uh, your circle inside your box. Now we're going to go up here and click on select up here at the top of the screen and we're going to push inverse. Okay? And then just hit your delete button. And you've got a circle. That inverse, instead of selecting what's inside the circle, it's selecting what's outside of the circle. So you're deleting whatever's on the outside. So you're deleting off the corners of your um, square that you had. And now I'm going to go back up here and click my move tool again. That was the first one up here with the arrow. And then I'm going to just move this in the image where I want it. I want it up there in the corner. Now over here on this side, we've got, see where it says layer one. You want to right click on there and push duplicate layer. Okay. And I'll ask you to name it. I usually don't. I'll just push okay. Then make sure your move tool is selected again because we're going to move it. See, we've got two images now. And I usually move this one over to the far side so that my third one I can put in the center. I'm going to do the same thing again. Just copy, duplicate either one of those. Move it over. The one that I just duplicated will be highlighted and that's the one that the image will be on top of that I drag off. And then I just keep doing that. Just keep going. This one I'm going to drag down the corner because it will help me even everything out. Just keep going. Duplicate, duplicate. Move this one over here. And do it again. Move this one in the center here. Do it again. And put this one up here. Three across, five um, down the side there. And I'm just going to keep going now. If you make a boo boo, need to undo something, hit your undo button up there. Oops, I hit delete layer instead. Let me duplicate layer. There we go. Okay. See how it's coming along here? Just keep going until your page is all filled up. And if you can't remember which which layer you just made a copy of, it should have a little little lines dancing around it. Now, if you need to go back and select another one to move it, you can just click on it. If you need to, you know, move them over some, they're not. I'm kind of weird about getting everything right where it needs to be. And we're just going to keep going. We've almost got it all done here. And there we've got it. Now what I'm going to do, we're just going to make this a stopping point since these videos can't be very long. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on File up here at the top. And I'm going to put Save As. And I'm just going to name this. I'm going to name this one... Um, Parts background, circles, one, and I'm going to hit save, and you've got that saved. The next video we'll work on putting our hearts on, and then the one after that we'll put some text on there. Thanks for watching.